Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at something different. We're looking at how to be an exceptional mathematician. And I was thinking about some of the most amazing uh, mathematicians in history. I was thinking about what made them really, truly fantastic. And I was also thinking about how we can use them as inspiration to be better mathematicians in school. And the first thing I want to talk to you about is practice. And practice is absolutely essential uh, to getting fantastic at maths. And the more you practice, the more confidence you get, and the more everything uh, becomes fluid, and crucially, the more you remember. Because if you remember everything you've ever been told in maths, you'll do well. So practice is absolutely essential to being an exceptional mathematician. Make mistakes. Now, every mathematician who has ever gone on to do amazing things has made lots and lots of mistakes. And that's completely normal when we're learning. But the crucial part is that you learn from your mistakes. Because... It's a really important learning process that you make a mistake and you realise why that didn't quite work. And reflecting on that and thinking about what uh, those mistakes is how you actually get better at making things perfect in the future. So mistakes are super important for learning journey. Don't ever think that people get good at maths without making mistakes. It's a myth. You have to make mistakes to get really good at maths in the future. Think. So this seems obvious, but people don't naturally think. They always go for the lazy route. But if you think really deeply about something and persevere with it, you will actually understand it far better than you would otherwise. So it's essential uh, that we think a lot when we're studying uh, to get better at maths. If you think you can just watch a bunch of videos or read a bunch of text and get good at maths. That doesn't work. You have to really think deeply about it and again solve problems and practice to get good at maths. Compare. So this is a really interesting idea that if you've got two different similar solutions, uh, similar problems, you can compare them and see how they are similar and how they are slightly different. It's a really good way of seeing a bit deeper into the maths and so uh, you know if you complete several different practice problems and see something to compare in them that is a way of understanding maths in a deeper sense comparing is quite powerful ask questions so never ever be afraid to ask questions in maths class it's really important you put your hand up and you ask your teacher similarly you can always ask questions to advance by commenting under our videos we are always happy to answer your questions. So if you're not, uh, if that's not possible, you might also be able to ask your friends or ask uh, your parents as well. They might be able to help you as well. And a key idea here is a problem shared is a problem halved. So sharing it, talking about it, throwing ideas around with other people is a great way uh, to understand maths better. Experiment. So really good mathematicians are curious and interested about uh, seeing maths from different ways. And a way to see patterns and to see um, insights into maths is to play with the numbers, see what happens when you try different numbers in different equations, and see if you can spot some patterns. So a um, really big thing here is exploring the number patterns and try to spot patterns in the numbers. Experimentation is a really good sign of a good mathematician and, of course, a good scientist. Memorise. So, lots of people might say, tell you that memorising isn't good, but they are wrong. Memorising is absolutely essential to gaining lots of math skills. That's why we make you memorise your times tables in primary school. You should always also memorise your prime numbers, your square numbers, and your cube numbers. Your prime numbers up to 100, your square numbers up to 12 squared, or maybe higher, maybe 15 squared, and also your cube numbers up to 5 cubed. Will be really good ones. Also memorise your formulas, and also memorise uh, some uh, other maths facts. Another good one is memorising your common fractions as decimals. For example, you should know what 1 eighth or 3 eighths is as a decimal. You should know what 1 third and 2 thirds is as a decimal. Fantastic. 
So these are my top tips. Think, ask questions, memorize, experiment, make mistakes, practice and compare. They're my top tips to help you become a fantastic, excellent mathematician. Thank you for watching Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe. It really helps to support the channel. And we'd also love it if you could share it with your friends. We're covering GCSE, E-Level and IB Maths with quick and simple explanations and new videos are coming very soon. You can check out advancedmaths.com for lots of free revision resources. Advanced Maths is completely free and there are no ads, so it's just there to help you focus on maths for everyone. Have a good day and good luck in your exams.